Thanks, Zach. Well, last night's Super Bowl will likely inspire some young Ohio Valley athletes to achieve greatness on the field. But for years, doctors have said repeated head injuries can quickly sideline a career and lead to some lifelong health problems. Reporter Eric Miner takes us to Morgantown, where researchers are on the cutting edge of helping injured players safely get back in the game. At WVU Medicine's Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute, Dr. Javier Cardenas and a team of specialists is researching and rehabilitating people who have suffered a traumatic brain injury. He's also the vice chair of the National Football League's Head, Neck and Spine Committee and has been involved with the NFL since 2013. I do it in part because it allows me to, to take this information and knowledge to other populations that don't have the opportunity. This is where safety innovations initiated at the professional level are making their way to patients all over our state. Exercise, physical activity is healthy for the brain. It actually helps in the recovery. So long as we're not putting somebody at uh, risk to hit their head again, it's safe to do. And that's information that we've learned um, as high as a professional level, but able to apply it once again to these groups that don't have the opportunity. Sports injuries are just part of the story. Here at the Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute, they're doing three prongs of outreach throughout West Virginia, including first responders and survivors of domestic violence. What I hope to see in the future research is when has the brain recovered? When we look at the bigger picture, we also see that in our country we have a high rate of diabetes, we have a high rate of obesity, and that results in long-term health consequences. Athletics, participating in athletics, is really important to keeping our, our youth healthy. Biologists are looking for markers in the blood and saliva that can speed up a diagnosis. Engineers and material scientists are constantly working on building a better helmet. And committees at the professional level are leading policy and practice changes aimed at making the game safer at every level. Eric Miner, 7 News, Morgantown. It's a Monday 